It's 4 p.m. and we're bringing you the developing news and the stories behind the headlines. This is StoryCon. I'm Patrick Pais. Some stories we're watching this Friday, June 14. President Bongbong Marcos has appointed retired Judge Jaime Santiago as the new director of the National Bureau of Investigation, or NBI. Santiago worked as, as a police officer at the Western Police District from 1979 to 2000. He is known as a sharpshooter from the SWAT team. Santiago was also a former RTC judge in Manila and Tagaytay and held leadership positions in judicial associations. Three overseas Filipino workers died in a fire that gutted a dorm in Kuwait on Wednesday. Two other Filipinos are in critical condition, while several others were injured. Kuwaiti police have arrested at least three people for suspected manslaughter. Fifty people were killed in the blaze. And the Department of Foreign Affairs condemns an, the attack on a ship carrying Filipino crew members off the Red Sea on June 12. The DFA assures it will take all necessary measures to secure the safety and well-being of OFWs aboard MV Tutor. Houthi militants have claimed responsibility for the assault, which left the, the ship seriously damaged. Joining us today, Ana Marie Pamintuan, Editor-in-Chief of the Philippine Star and StoryCon's resident political pundit, Ronald Liamas. Good afternoon. Uh, Hi, good afternoon. Okay, Ami. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. But Friday pa lang, Ami, it seems like a slow day for, for, for the news today. Is oh, it also a slow day for the oh, Philippine man. Star? What do we have? Well, apart from the stories you mentioned, Meron tinanggal yung ano yung regional police director I think of the Davao region and 14 other officers police officers overlap sa Davao. Uh don sa pagse-serve ng warrant kay Pastor Kibuloy. I'm not I'm still waiting for the details dito kung ano exactly yung lapses na yon. But ang alam lang naman nating mga lapses eh well either hindi nila nakuha si Ki Pastor Kibuloy or uh, they are responding to the complaints okay. about the manner in which you know overkill daw, di ba? Sabi ni, ni former President Duterte and even Sarah Duterte spoke against it. So, Tapos nag-react na rin ang, ano, ang si First Lady dun sa pagkuha niya ng baso kay cheese ng wine glass. Sabi niya matagal niyang kilala si cheese from there from when she was a lawyer, uh, a law student in Atenea and he was a uh, student in UP at kung ano man daw yung nangyari, it's just between them. Ayan. Ayun, okay. Yan ang mga inabangan natin. Aha. Itong statement uh, na ito, no? itong statement na ito, uh, Ami, hindi, hindi kami nakakuha yes. yun. Eh. So is this a statement that was exclusive to DZRH? Kumalat yan eh. Yeah. Yeah, social media. Nagkalat na siya. Hindi ko alam kung original or sabay-sabay uh, na ni-release. This is actually a post, a graphics post uploaded by DZRH on the yes. page. Ano? Uh, itong statement ni yes. First Lady Lisa Marcos on the viral uh, wine glass video. So, mm. it was ano, an exchange between friends. Yung basically sinasabi niya. When, ato, I'll just read part mm. of the statement. Ano? When Cheese saw me, he said, Wow, believe din ako sa'yo. May energy ka pa after mm. standing and smiling for over an hour. I'm sure you could use a drink. Mm -hmm. At that point, I think ano, mm -hmm. she she took the glass and uh, <laughs> took a took a gip, uh, took a sip, gulp. I was about to say gulp. Okay, <laughs> took a sip at saka you returned the glass. <laughs> but uh I don't know, hindi ako nag-cover ng Malacañang, eh. alam mo, I Ami, mean, I think ikaw nag-cover ka pero yeah. ang kwento ni Joey Francisco na veterano rin diyan na reporter sa Malacañang, talagang medyo yeah. mahaba daw tong uh, uh, assembly, uh, line. assembly line to receive all the diplomats during Van de Honor. Yes. Diba? Pero, pero, pero Van de Honor, eh, very formal yan eh. Uh -huh. So, yes, it's formal. Ibig sabihin, medyo off yung ganyang klaseng incident. Paano lahat ng mga ambassador mm. nandyan eh, no? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Kaya, off ang... But, but you know, kasi natin narinig ko na yung usapan, ano, but even then, ewan ko, baka close na close sila, no, na... Pwede mo nga gawin yung alak nung, nung, ano, nung kaibigan mo and drink from it and right, give it right, back to him. So, right. nonchalantly siguro. 
Na sabi nga niya, eh, sa, sa amin na yan, it's between us na. Right. Siguro, ganun sila ka-close. Actually, what, what, sabi ko what, nga, kapag mga formal, formal parties, <clears throat> kasi nag-cover ako ng matagal ng malakan niyang eh. Lahat ng waiter dyan, eh, may daladalang tray eh, to give you your kanya-kanyang glass siya because it's a toast. It's going to be a toast. Pagdating ni Presidente, magsasalita, magtotoast na yan. Oh. So, merong umiikot dyan ng mga tao na nagbibigay ng baso sa bawat isa. Baka na pagkamalan so, siya, no? So, maybe they are really that <laughs> close. Dahil sa marong, so. yung teorya ni, ni, jo, ni Joey Francisco, baka na pagkamalan dahil sa marong. Pare, baka pareho tela. Pero magpansin mo kasi, nung uh, oh, kinuha niya yung baso, ininuman, tapos binalik, binalik. binalik. hindi malang nakatingin kung paano binalik. Eh. Kasi, oh. Oh. Yes! Parang oh. ganun, eh. oh. Hindi nakatingin, no? Ayan. Tapos biglang talikod. Oh, yan oh, yan. Saka you know. parang wala namang Hindi uusapan, di ba? Or they no, talking no. to each other? Hindi siya nang nag-uusap eh. Hindi nag-alaskahan. Uh, uh, diba? Talagang we're Are really... Are they talking to each other? They're not talking mystery. to each other. Oh, oh. Well, no, alam mo, Ronald, uh, talagang yeah. this is probably one of the most uh, deconstructed <laughs> and overanalyzed uh, uh, story this last few days. But what is the significance? Is there any significance to this ano, story ko, other than the ko, ko curiosity ay, of... Uh, ko ako ay nasa Malacanang. Mm -hmm. Ang i-advise ko, Just weather the storm. Mm -hmm. Ano itong ganito statement, ang daming lumalabas pala ah, possible angles eh. Mm -hmm. Tapos sa dulo, it's between us. Mm -hmm. no, yung, yung, pag ganyan kasi, huwag ka na magpaliwanag. Just weather, lilipas din yan eh. Mm -hmm. no, <laughs> Sabi nga nila, no? Ang problema dyan, marami pang iaanak na story yan. Ayun, pag may pag sumagot, oh. pag may paliwanag. Pag kasi pag magpaliwanag ka, i-deconstruct naman yung paliwanag. Oo, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> meron pang you, hindi na magmalamig, ang champagne. Ang yeah. daming kwan eh, ang daming possible angles. Oh. Weather mo na yung storm. Pabayaan mo lang magtanong yung mga tao. Si silence is golden. Yeah. Parang ganyan. Yeah. Do you agree, Ami? Siguro kasi ang mga criticism directed sa kanya eh. Kaya siya yung sumagot. Actually, yung, yung catch is okay lang eh. Ang medyo tinamaan si First Lady. Di ba? Tingnan niya yung mga post eh. Puro critical sa kanya karamihan eh. We, we, were, we were discussing this with our producer, no, si John Enero, yesterday. Yeah. Na, we, we, of course, we all saw this. This went around during the during the morning, as early yeah, as the yeah, morning, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, in our social media feeds, no. Pero nung nagreact si <laughs> Senate President Jesus yeah. Cudero, from that point on, yeah. it's a legitimate story for <laughs> mainstream media yeah. to carry and discuss. Pero, pero, Otherwise, it could have stayed on social media. Yes, but look at the statement. Mm -hmm. Kung dini-construct mo yung nangyari, hindi di-construct mo rin yung statement. So, exactly. So, exactly. magpapatuloy yeah. yan. <laughs> exactly. Kasi kung di, alam mo, Ami, kung di nag- kung hindi nag-react si Senate President Jesus Cudero, uh, yeah. magdadalawang isip kami kung i-carry natin, eh, uh, di ba? Parang ganun, eh. Uh, Itong story na ito. Ayun lang. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tingin ko hindi tayo magdadalawang isip. <laughs> di ba? I, I have my doubts. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, IBM Shops. Yeah, yeah. Hindi naman nila sinadya yun. Pero several angles eh. May isang angle na mas malapit eh. Di ba? Oo. Dalawang angle yung nakita ko eh. Oo, baby. Pero doon ka rin bibilib sa mga ano, no? Sa mga keyboard operators. Ang bilis mag-download. Ang bilis pumutol at mag-download. I don't know what kind of operation yung ganyan sa social media, di ba? Talagang kaya... Ang bilis ng mata. Ang bilis ng mata. Eh, ang bilis ng mata. Ang taba ng utak. It's a social media world ngayon eh. Right. Lahat, lahat lalabas, lahat hindi deconstruct, di ba? Kaya dapat maingat. Oh, you know, public officials expected... Lalo ngayon may mga AI-AI na, no? Pati si Pope nagsalita sa AI, ah. Oh. For the first time, the Pope addressed the yes. group of seven yes. economic powers dahil nasa Rome yung meeting. Eh. Ah. At ang topic niya, AI. Yeah. Sabi niya, he expressed concern about artificial intelligence. Pero mukhang ito hindi naman deepfake eh. Hindi, <laughs> hindi. Kaya mukhang lahat nag-verify eh. <laughs> Explanation nga lang. <laughs> May explanation na kasama. <laughs> Ami, we, we meant to ask you about, kasi this is a story that was carried by the Philippine Star. We meant to ask you about the hmm. reaction of uh, Senator Nancy Binay tungkol dun sa... Yes. Ba bakit naman doon ni parang uh, nilabag, uh, nilabas, nilabag tuloy, ni Senator hmm. Alan Peter Caetano yung issue na ito na tungkol dun sa overpricing, yes. uh, the, the cost shooting up for that new Senate building when they could have talked. Hmm. Um, yes. So, so what, what else do we know about this story? 
But to, uh, alam naman natin yung away ng mga kayatan sa Nabina. It's over the embos, no? <laughs> sa tagig ko, uh, eh. Sa tagig. Sa few. Uh, talagang malaking nawala sa Makati. And uh, it, it's been, uh, I think, <laughs> naging family issue na siya. Oo. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh, sa oh, sa, sa tagig, yes. The embos na ngayon, nasa tagig. In fact, yung asawa ni ni Abi Bina is representing part of Embo, one of the Embos eh. Right. Kaya in fact, meron nga usap-usapat ngayon na dahil last term na ni Abi Bina ay she might run for mayor of Tagig dahil nandun yung constituency nila eh. Yung mga Embo nila, di ba? Mm -hmm. And uh, no, uh, magkakaroon din ngayon ng problema dahil baka maging Binay versus, well not exactly Binay but Campos, mm -hmm. the husband of Abi Binay. Natatakbo as mayor of, of Makati right. naman. Okay. Kaya yan, merong ganyang mga ano, Amy. merong ganyang mga, ano, dyan, ah, mga, mga issues dyan sa saan mo pa na yan. Ami, ang fearless forecast ko, magtatakbo sa Senate si Abby. Nasa, hmm. nasa line-up Senate. siya ng oh. Nationalist People's Coalition, I understand, di ba, Ronald? Yeah. Na yes. in-announce ni Senator Tito Soto. That, Mukhang um, naghahanda na siya ng, na siya ng, na siya ng machinery. Oh, so, Pero baka um, tama kayo sinasabi makikin. ni Ami na yung mister ang pupunta ng tagig. Right? Yes. Ami, o kaya lumalabas well, eh, siya. Siguro pang pangasar lang yan. <laughs> Kahil nga nag-aaway sila. Pangasar yun, tatakbo ko na lang dyan, Mayor. Oh. So, <laughs> siguro so, tingnan natin, if she will... Although meron yata silang residents doon eh, hindi ba? Yeah, pero meron may, meron silang, silang residents doon eh. Meron naman so they don't need to, to transfer residents kung sakasakali. Ah, okay, pero, okay, okay. pero for now, Ami, mukhang yung asawa ni Abi tatakbo ng mayor na Makati. Mayor, yun na nga. Yeah, yun na nga. Kaya nga, oh. mukhang tatakbo din si Nancy. Okay. So, magiging ganyan. Meron din ganyang... Yeah. Some, well, we know rin na pwede yung family kasi merong medyo... They won't. Competition. Sabihin na lang natin <laughs> rivalry na lang siguro <laughs> doon sa pamilya mismo. Kaya yan, tinitignan na din natin yan. Oh, okay. at, at hindi lang si, ano, hindi lang si yung mga kayatano ang yung sinasabihan ni Nancy Binay na sabi din niya si Coco yung mga nagkikritisize. Saan ba na ako yung 25 billion? So now we're waiting for explanations. Hmm. Yung ganyan. Yung 25 billion additional for the new Senate building. Yan din ang sinabi niya. So, naghihintay pa tayo ng mga detalye dyan today. Yeah. Okay, you, you were saying, Ronald, that uh, you, you see uh, Abby Bina is husband running for the same, running for the same position uh, <laughs> and she might be up, uh, he might be up against Nancy Binay for Makati. No, no. Si Abby will be running for the Senate. Right, right. Uh, Pero yung uh, asawa niya... Asawa niya will be running against Nancy. Against for, Nancy. Now. Oh, yeah. for now. For now. Oh, for now. Yeah. And you were saying, walang bibigay. For now. For now. <laughs> Kasi, yeah. uh, hmm. Ano malalim yung away? For world peace, ang yes. pwede mangyari dapat, yung isa sa kanila, <laughs> doon na lang tumakbo sa ang tagig. Pro ang problema, walang fulcrum na nag-aayos. Hindi kaya nung tatay. Nakita mo naman yung away hmm. nung, nung son at saka ni Abby sa harap ng tatay, di ba? Very hmm. intense yan. At ang kakampi ni Nancy ay yung son, yung kapatid na lalaki. Hmm. Okay. Pero mas malalim yung away ng Cayetano and Binay, hindi ba? <laughs> Kaya may posibilidad pa rin. Yes. Kasi hanggang ngayon, kapag tinatanong sila B, eh, sinasabi nila, uh, in, in so many words, they are still open to the possibility nga that she might run for mayor of Taguig. Kasi malalim din yung away ng pami pamilya. Mukhang ang lumalabas... Ng dalawang pamilya pala. Yeah, mukhang lumalabas ngayon, uh, Ami, susuportahan ni Abby yung lalaban sa mga Cayetano. So there will be a coalition of the willing against the Cayetano sa Taguig. Hmm. At uh, kahit hindi tumakbo hmm. si Abby, uh, they will support that candidate. Who, who is likely yes. to contest Taguig? Uh, well, uh, sabi yeah. nga ni Abby, pwedeng Binay, pwedeng hmm. Tinga, hmm. na sinusuportahan ni BBM. Hmm. No? Tapos hmm. uh, other yes. disgruntled elements na dati kasama sa Cayetano camp. No? Uh, hmm. Kaya uh, pwedeng may nabubuo na something eh, sa Taguig. No, na na hmm. hindi lang yung mga tadit dati lang kalaban ng Cayetano. No? So may mga bagong element. Pero gaano kalaking voting population ang mga ating lumipat sa Tagig for this election? Kasi you made, you made that map before, it's substantial. Yeah, very substantial din. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 Pero malaki that can swing, yun. ano? Malaki uh, that can swing uh, the because those embos uh, carried Yeah. The, usually carry the elections yes. for the Binay. Yes. Oh. All, all these decades. Yes. They were all these decades. Heavily uh, populated dyan. Eh. Yun yung heavily populated area na maraming mga 
mga depressed areas dyan, yan yung talagang ano, yan yung mass base nila binay. Parang, I, I did a story about From this the before, eh. the parang, uh, parang ang magiging new pop- voting population ng Taguig, half of them uh, at least would have come from the the binay the area yes. the side. Hindi naman half. Or almost. But, but it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's more than a fourth, eh. Well, but you're talking about a solid block. Uh, Could be. No, diba? yes. Could if, be. if you're talking to the oh, impulse, paano, that's a solid yeah. block. Paano yung mga barangay captain dyan, yung mga ward leaders, no? pupunta yan hmm. kung sino yung magbibigay sa kanila ng benepisyo. Hmm. No? Uh, eh, mas maganda yes. rin rubber shoes na binibigay ng mga ati keso sa, <laughs> so, so, yes. sa tagig, fact, di ba? Yes, and in fact, hanggang ngayon, yeah. binibigyan sila ng benepisyo uh, ng mga ati. Uh, oh. In so, fact, hanggang ngayon. Yeah. Meron pa rin sila yung well, mga, oh. laging sinasabi, meron silang makatis. Uh, ano, yun, ano yun yung senyo? Ano? Ed, Makati Citizen something oh, something Citizen. Citizen. card na yeah. pag pinakita mo, in-honor pa rin hanggang ngayon. Pero kung hindi binay ang tatakbo sa tagig, medyo mabuhay ang base na yan. No? Pwede yung mahati. Yes. Pwede mahati. Pwede mahati. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ibang usapin kasi right. kung binay ang tatakbo. Pero kung right. hindi binay, hmm. pwede mahati. But so the family would have to consider that. Put, make, put that into consideration na Part sayang of- yung pinuhunan nila all these decades na balwarte nila ang emboss. Part of the family. Dahil hindi naman buo yung family. Mm, right. <laughs> okay. Pero uh, mm. w- without the emboss, the embo barangays, mm. uh, how does that affect naman the voting bailiwick, the votes of the b in Makati? Well, mahati yan. Katulad ng last, nung last election. Medyo hati yan eh. Doon sa labanan ng parehong b mm-hmm. no, na hati yung kanilang base. At uh, doon nakalamang si Abby. Kaya ang, ang aking uh, assumption, itong nalipat sa tagig mm-hmm. ay Abby base. Abi uh, yeah. Ano ang naiwan sa Makati? Mm. Na ah, binay pa rin. <laughs> oh, hati pa rin sila, uh-huh. no? Hati pa rin sila. Pero titong mga yes. pembo, mas base ito ni Abi, kaya siya naging mayor. Base ng tatay, 'di ba? Mm. Starting from the father. Yes, pero lahati nga yung base ng tatay sa mga anak eh. Mm. <laughs> diba? yun yung mm. yun yung uh, distinct nature ng ng Makati. Oh, okay, mm. I, know, I know what you mean. Yeah. So, if the husband of Abi Binay decides to run for mayor, Uh, baka yung botante at baluarte ni Abby ang nasa kabila. Mm-hmm. Hindi niya maasahan niya yeah. na bumoto sa kanya. Okay, so interesting. Oh, ayun yung embo eh. Ano? Doon si Campos. Mm-hmm. Sa embo siya. So kung si Nancy, malakas si Nancy sa Makati mismo. Yung natira sa Makati, siya ang malakas doon. Right. So it's more logical for the husband of Abby to run in Tagig. Yes. Parang ganon. Uh, or support uh-huh. somebody. Support somebody. Ano nung na-meet ko si Kwan, si Abby nung uh, Europe Day, uh, ang, matya, ang sabi niya, wala akong interest. Pero siyempre, pag sinabi ng politiko na wala siyang interest, <laughs> ibig sabihin meron. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ganun lang, ano? <laughs> Yun. Okay. Bum- Balikan ko lang yun, yung Senate building, uh, yung sinabi ni Nancy Binay. Okay. Uh, yung 9.8 billion pala na original budget, uh, sabi ni Binay, is only for the infrastructure itself. Hindi, hindi kasama interior. Hindi, fi- finishing. Oh, oh. hindi kasama interior. So, after that 9.8 billion budget, uh, the following year, they budgeted another 10 billion for the interior. That went up. That went up to <laughs> that that went plus, plus, plus four pa. <laughs> oh, oh. Pero mahalaga kasi dyan yung paper trail. Eh. Ano pa talaga yung mga kasunduan? No? Somebody has to... Ano sabi niyo kanina? Deconstruct. Deconstruct. <laughs> yung papeles. Ano ba nakasulat doon sa fine details? Hindi natin alam eh. No. <laughs> yeah. Kuwan lang tayo dyan um, eh, layman. Pero in, in other words, parang lumalabas nga na 20, at, 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 at the very least 20 billion yung nandila. Oh, Oo, pero ang tanong, at the very least, nakapasok ba yan doon sa original uh, deal? Na, hanggang dito lang itong hmm. infrastructure. Tapos all the others, plus, plus, plus. No? Pero, Pwede, public document siya eh. Yeah, yeah, pwede yeah, pwede yeah. pwede yan na uh, kunin ni Joby Francisco, no? Pwede niyang uh, 'di ba kahit sino pwedeng any layman na unlearned, no? Can <laughs> can, yeah, can yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> unlearned. Pwedeng kunin yan. Baka 'yun ang isang kailangan natin gawin. Tsaka <laughs> mukha dagdag na. Kasi we're, we're, we're looking at 24 billion uh, supposedly for the new set building. Uh, 
Hugutin ko lang yung discussion ka po doon sa Pogo sa yeah. kung magkano kinikita ng, kinikita, kinita ng gobyerno in the last six years of Pogo operations. Mm-hmm. Uh, lumalabas ayon sa DOF, eh, sa finance records, 53 billion in the last six years oh. in taxes oh. for BIR and PAGCOR. Pero six years yan, ha? Six years yan, six years. Mm-hmm. So, mal- malaki ba yun na maliit? Oh, yeah. Pag itabi mo doon sa cost ng Senate building, mm-hmm. <laughs> kalahati na yun, na. Oh. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Halos kalahati. Yung Pogo, yung Pogo earning, ang lit-lit niya, na consider the earnings of the casinos. Oo oh, nga, eh. Malang mas malaki, ang nahihirapan silang mag-track. In fact, umami na sila. Ang hirap-hirap online yan eh. Saka ang problema. Kung online retail natin, ang hirap-hirap yeah. itak sa yan pa. Tama, okay. sabi ni, tama sabi ni Ami, paano mo itatax ang Pogo na hindi mo alam kung ano yung earnings? Mm. No. Before yes, we go deeper, eh. Ami, before we go deeper into the Pogo mm. issue, huwag mo na natin iwan itong issue ng Senate building. At this point, let's ah. bring in Philippine Star reporter Cecil Suerte Felipe. She mm. is covering the Senate and maybe she has some more details for us regarding the Senate building. Hmm. Cecil? Yes. Uh, good afternoon po, Ma'am Ami. Good afternoon, Sir Patrick, Sir hmm. Ronald, and Sir Ed. Papa, wala ba tayo ni Cecil? Po. Hi, Cecil. Nandiyan ang boss ko, Sir. Sige na. Okay, okay, okay. Ano, ano, bali, ano bago balita dyan? Uh, any updates on the Senate, uh, yeah. the controversial uh, new building? Saka, building. Cecil, makakakuha ka ba ng dokumento tungkol dyan sa Senate building na yan. No, dahil wala pa si Ami. Walang batayan eh. Walang batayan tayo eh. Ang kinukuha natin, mga guesses eh. Diba? Pero yung meron, bang, yes, meron ba dyan pwedeng makuha na batayan? Ano ba talaga yung kasunduan? Baka, baka, baka tanongin si Cecil ko nag-aaral siya ng engineering. <laughs> <laughs> Mahirap, diba? Kahit may dokumento. <laughs> mas, mas pal lang yan eh. Accounting eh. <laughs> mas accounting lang sige, yan eh. Sige Cecil, uh, yeah. To, to Ronald's yes, question. Apo. Yan, initially, meron tayong, uh, wala pa kaming nakuhang hard copy nung, <laughs> nung uh, papers about the Senate building, but may mga konting info na, na nakukuha kami, sabi nyo, di ba, yung phase one, ay 8.9 billion, ito yung or and sell ng Senate building. It was approved during the time of Senate, Senator Panpilo Lacson. Tapos ito daw pong phase two, ay 2.5 billion for the sit out package including yung mga furnishing and tiles din yung mga interior tapos yung may phase 3 na 10.3 33 billion ito daw po yung wala pang klaro ka text ko just now si Senator Lacson tinatanong ko para sa yung 10.33 billion sabi hindi din malinaw sa kanya but sen- uh, kausap nila si Senator Binay kasi nagko-consult sila Senator Binay sa kanila sa saka kay Senator um, Soto, kay SB Soto, sabi, papaliwanag nila next week, ready daw sila dun ipakita kung ano yung um, coverage nitong 10.33 billion na nasa phase 3 nung construction ng new Senate building. By the way, ma'am, sir, yung 8.9 billion at present daw po is 77% done. Tapos itong uh, phase 2, yung parang interior, ay nasa 18%. So, kaya sinabi ni Senate President Escudero na even sa 2025 o 2026, parang hindi pa ready na lumipat ang Senado sa Tagig. Pero Cecil, medyo weird na hindi alam ni Senator Ping Lacson yung detalye ng third phase. In the first place, talaga ba, talaga ba yung inaprubahan dyan ay three phases? Alam, hindi mo mo naman pwedeng aprubahan. Yeah, One oh, phase lang eh. Dapat aprubahan mo yung buo, no? So, right. ano pa talaga yung buo o yung phase 2, uh, phase 3 ay nabuo lang after the fact, no? Yeah. At uh, at panghuli ay uh, anong kinalaman, anong role ni ni Senator Binay diyan? Dahil yung contractor niyan, yung Hillmark, yun din yung na-implicate okay. doon sa uh, green parking, parking building ng Bakati green City parking Hall. building ng Binay din sa Makati. So medyo may Opo. mga may mga ilang mga red flags, may mga ilang question mark, 'di ba? Na tungkol diyan. So, anong role ni Senator Binay? Opo. Ah, uh, bali yung role ni Senator Binay ay yung inassume niya na role ni Senate na iniwanan ni Senator Ping. Matatandaan po natin, the Senator hmm. Ping had yung kanyang second and last term noong 2022. Kaya nung nagpalit na at nanalo si Senator uh, Subiri bilang Senate President, 
Senator Binay was appointed as uh, the chairperson of the committee on Senate Committee on Accounts. So siya na yung nag-monitor ng progress nitong building. Pero yun nga, tinanong ko kasi nag, na, nalilito nila po sa manggagaling ano yung kailangan bayaran natin for the 10.33. And I asked Senator Ping, sabi niya, to quote him, yan ang hindi ko alam. Um, he talked down to Senator Binay and staff kahapon sa office niya and sabi, they, they said that they are preparing for the necessary information which they will be briefing the media by next week. So, okay. yun po yung hinihintay pa rin natin. So, okay. Cecil, lumalabas at least from Hello, Senator, from Senator uh, Ping Lakson's uh, hmm. interview, no? from er, your interview with him. It should have been done by phase two kasi itong phase two, which is 2.5 billion only, eh, ano na to? Furnishings and interiors. So, dapat wala ng phase three, di ba? So, ano itong phase three? Ah, yun sir. Bak ah, hindi na lang na-elaborate. I think baka yun, ito yung kinocover nung ah, sinasabing bayad sa lupa. Wala, wala. Di ba dito sa nakalagay natin oh. sa... So, sa ano, doon sa phase one, eh, building lang at saka yung structure. Oh, okay. Wala na mention yung lupa. So nakapagpatayo sila oh, ng building na walang <laughs> ano. Hindi ba ba yung lupa? Hindi ba ba yung lupa? Hindi ba ba yung lupa? Yan yung sinasabi. Nag-appreciate daw yung real estate. Kaya oh, nagtataka ako eh. Okay. Paano nag-appreciate yung real estate kung nagawa ka na dyan ng building, di ba? Pwede pa lang ganun. Pwede pa lang ganun. Bakit na ako yung building sa lupa? Oo nga. Oo nga. We are ano, not alert at on real estate. Oh, nagkayo ka ng building kasi hindi mo parang bibili yung lupa. Eh kung bawiin yung lupa, oh, kung, eh. kung hindi na tuloy. Anong gabi mo sa building? Bakit tumulas masyado yung lupa habang ginawa yung building? Medyo weird yung ganong klaseng paliwanan. Hindi mo dapat bilhin mo na yung bago yung building. Hmm. Bago ginawa oh, yung building session. Itong phase three na ito, no, na pambayad sa lupa. This is 10 billion. 10 billion pesos. Opo. Medyo malaki. Opo. Ang sabi nung una, yung initial, ay, ang presyo ng lupa ay 90,000 per square meter. Mm -hmm. Ngayon daw po ay 500,000 na para karahating million isang square meter. Kaya sabi ko, para kahit isang payuan pala, hindi ko mabibili yung lupa sa tagi ganun sa mahal Karahating po. million? Yes, sir. not really because there are informal settlers around the area. But it's demolished. Because it's 500,000 per square meter. But Cecil, of course, we understand what you're saying. You're only reporting what they told you. And that's clear. That's why we're like, it's a bit mysterious. Umakit yung presyo ng lupa ngayon, kaya no, ngayon building. tataas yung bayad sa lupa. <laughs> well, when you would think na unang binili yung lupa. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> unang binayaran yung lupa, oh, oh. di ba? <laughs> you would think. Saka isa lang binawin ko, Cecil, ha? yung yes, Hillmark yes, won the contract nung hindi pa nakaupo si Nancy Binay oh, okay. sa Senate oh, Committee. Yes, di ba? Yes, Panahon po. ba yan ni Ping Lakson? Kasi I understand, nagkaroon ng bidding for award yung yung uh, nagkaroon ng contest for the design of the complex Apo. tapos syempre ang implementer niya na eh, DPWH yung DPWH ang nag-award sa Hillmark may kinalaman ba si Nancy Binay doon sa awarding na yon ng contract to the Hillmark kasi ginagawang issue yan sa kanya ngayon naman nung mga well, yes, yung mga detractors niya yes Ma'am, kung babalikan po yung timeline, wala pang sing si Senator Binay doon sa sa dile. So, hindi siya pwedeng balikan na na-influensyahan niya yung, yung um, kontrata. And at the same time, di ba si Senator Lacton, kilala naman natin na honest to goodness ito, mm. sinabi niya na missing ko wala pang sinapasok na kontrata yung term ni Senator Binay para dito sa sa Senate building, so parang more on administrative pa lang yung nagagawa ni Senator Dunay. So okay. walang issue when it comes to money po. Okay. Cecil, may sagot na ba si Senator Alan Peter Cayetano, yung bagong chairman ng Accounts Committee, dun sa parang hinaing ni Senator Nancy Binay na bakit ni, hindi daw uh, kinausap na lang siya imbis na ilabas ito in public, itong issue na ito ng overpricing ng ano? Or not overpricing, Opo. but yung ballooning costs ng Senate building. Yes, sir. Kami din po ay nagpapaschedule kay Senator Cayetano to get clarification on this matter. Eh, kahapon po, instead na kausapin kami, nag-Facebook Live. 
So, <laughs> hindi kami nakapagtanong. Nagsabi lang sa nang nagsabi na ito yung details dun sa kanyang um, audit. Nang sabi niya, yung, uh, yung height ng tenet park, uh, building dun sa parking area ay mababa. Madabi daw kung variation na binago. Kaya dapat mag-investigate pa. And to clarify din, para hindi masadong mapagdudahan ng ating mga senador, tama si Ma'am Ami, DPWH po yung nagpapatupad ng project. Kaya daw po nagkaroon ng... Kaya hindi nagbabayad ng... ng hindi inaano ng Senado kasi ang dami ng binago dun sa model na na-approve. Kaya lalong nade-delay, di ba? At originally po, sabi ni Senator Lacson, dapat 2021 pa nakalipat na tayo, nakalipat na yung Senate sa tagig. So because of COVID, na-delay na nang na-delay. And nagkaroon pa ng variation na tinututulan ni na Senator Binay, kaya lalong na-delay yung construction nitong Senate, uh, new Senate building po. Kaya Cecil, mahalaga kasi yung basic document para malaman. Ano, ang pinag-uusapan natin ngayon ay sinabi ni ganito, sinabi ni ganito, Opo. pero nasaan yung papeles? At ang, ni ganito, uh, ganito. Oo, at yung papeles, dapat yan public document eh. Hindi naman kinakailangan ng executive session dyan eh. No, di ba? Public document yan, lalo na ngayon na ini-scrutinize yung, yung pag-increase. Na mismo yung original proponent, si Senator Ping Lacson, hindi, sabi niya, di ba, sabi mo, Cecil, hindi niya alam itong 10 point something billion, no? Hmm. So, hindi yan petty cash. Hindi yan petty cash. Kaya yeah. kinakailangan pag-usapan na maigit. Well, well, ano, no? 10 hmm. point, 10 billion dun sa lupa. You mean to say na purubahan ito ni Senate Pre ni dating Senator Ping Lacso kasi sila yung project, yeah. ano, yeah. nag-initiate yung project. Pero, hindi, pero, nang hindi pa binibili yung lupa. Pero, ang, ang sabi nga ni Ping Lacso, hmm. hindi niya alam eh. Yeah. Yung addition na yun, yung, yung lupa. Sinaw, hindi, hindi, ah, hindi, oh. hindi niya alam na kailangan bilhin yung lupa? Hindi, bakit hindi niya? <laughs> De, parang sa si Cecil, hindi alam ni Lacson kung para saan yun. Para saan? Oo, oh, exactly. para saan. Yes, okay. Na dapat hindi alam niya. Para diba? oh. Baka na, uh, parang nagsasurmise lang sila na baka itong additional cost would cover yung yung lupa. But, pero hindi, yun, tinanong, kasi nung nakita ko din po itong phase 1, phase 2, so bakit mas malaki yung phase 3 na supposedly i-occupy na nila. <laughs> eh. <laughs> bakit ni Hulio yung phase 3? Tinanong ko, <laughs> so, para saan ba itong phase 3? So, huh? sabi niya, so quote unquote nga, yan ang hindi ko alam. Dapat, eh, sabi po nila, parang dapat ata phase 1 yun. <laughs> Ronald, you're familiar Next with government. Po, I dapat phase 1 yun, yung lupa. Dahil tatayo ako ng malaking building. Eh. Di ba? Kaya nito initially, ang sinabi 1.6 billion lang yung lupa eh. O kanya nga. Kaya na, saan nang galing itong 10 points? Hindi pwede nag-appreciate yun dahil nabili na eh. Nabili na eh. Yes sir, yes sir. Siguro dapat tanongin din natin DPWH. I'm sure alam nila kung kung may mga dagdag man dyan, kung may nag-appreciate sa mga parts na kailangan, yung mga security features, dapat alam nyo, nung yung main implementer, which is the DPWH, siguro dapat tanongin din nyo. Alam mo, yan ang kailangan ng Senate hearing. Bumubulong-bulong si Joby dito. Tsaka, Ami, ano ba yan? Malamang government land dyan na binili ng ng Senate. Di ba? Parang government to government yung bilihan dyan. Eh. Yan, parang, parang government Kaya ibig sabihin, mas uh, friendly yung price. Money yan eh. Di ba? Mas friendly yung price. Hindi 500,000 yes. per square meter. Kasi parang, diba? parang bahagi siya yes. dati ng, ng maring yeah, yeah, yeah. maring compound sa Puerto Ripasio. Oh. Kasama yan eh. sa yes. one yes. sa government land. Strictly I'm speaking, it's sure, outside uh, the gates of Fort Bonifacio. But uh, it could yeah. still be government land. Yeah. It could, uh, that area could yes. be or could not be. Mm -hmm. Pero marami kasi mga informal settlers around that area, di ba? Naman lamang friendly oh. yung rates. Hindi uh, naman sobrang market uh, rates na 500,000 per cent. Hindi naman, ala alam ko kapitbahay ng Landas <laughs> Marinas Village, you know? uh, pero siguro naman hindi ganun ang ba. <laughs> pero kung, binenta, <laughs> kung ibebenta ni Ed Lingao, yung kanyang property. Oh, yeah, yun. Ganun Wait, siya, ano? <laughs> pero pa siguro. <laughs> Wala akong property, Marol, you know? <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> Wala akong property. <laughs> Pagpamina. <laughs> Nagpaliwanag tuloy yan. <laughs> Ako yung mabuting asawa lamang. <laughs> okay, maraming salamat. Cecil Suerte Felipe, ng <laughs> Philippine Star. Thank you po. Thank you, Cecil. Thank, Thank you, Cecil. Cecil. Good afternoon. Yung papeles, Cecil. Inutusan mo pa si Cecil. <laughs> Nagtataka kasi ako after nitong medyo mahigit sa linggo na, wala pa rin yung term of preference. Mm -hmm. Diba dapat may... Tapos dapat, bigal lumilit ako. Ah, you know, you know Ronald, I wouldn't even go that far or that detail. Ang tanong ko lang talaga is, ganun yes. talaga, hindi pa bayad yung lupa? Medyo-medyo. Huh? Yun, yun siguro kailangan natin klaruin uh -huh. pa. 
I, I find it parang uh, a little bit odd na... Kahit naman sino na magpapatayo uh -oh. ng bahay sa building, uunahin yung lupa, di ba? Uh, tsaka if you start building... In terms of reference, dapat di PWH siya na. If you start building sa building there, try tataas ang presyo ng lupa. Yeah, right, right, right. So buy, buy the land first, right? Yeah. You, you need the expert case to prepare terms of reference. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Dapat tanungin natin yung DPWH. Hindi alam niya ng mga senador. <laughs> mm, kasi, di ba, kung... Not, kung tinayo mo muna yung building bago mo binili lupa, uh, there could be some yes. um, speculations involved there. Diba? Baka may yeah. speculations. Ang sabi, sabi kasi, binili niya na, binili niya ng 1.6 billion. Mm -hmm. Ano yung 1.6 down payment? No. <laughs> o yun niya yung buong bayad. Pero, Hindi, kahit ng down payment kay BCB, may kontrata ka na kung magkano. Hindi, kaya nga, yung, ano, kaya nga, yung, uh, kaya nga mahalaga, yeah. again, yung term of reference, yung papeles. No? Right. Or else, Huhulaan lang natin. Right. Well, I, I, I imagine that uh, Senator Lacson, who has been very open about this, would have the answer. He would eh, probably know na binili na namin yung lupa na yan. Eh, hindi, nga, <laughs> hindi nga daw niya alam yung 10 billion, di ba? Oh, <laughs> like, he wouldn't go to phase one or phase two. At dapat nga daw, tapos na yan ng 2021. Isa pa yun. Oh. Oh, isa pa yun. <laughs> Well, we can understand Pero bakit na-delay, na-delay, no? Pandemic, ah? Because of pandemic. Uh, uh, uh. But, uh, yeah. Yes, na-delay siya ng pandemic. Kaya kung buta ka sa kalay, may ang nag-appreciate dyan yung mga materiales. Oh, not, Pero yung not, lupa, medyo malabo yun. Hindi na, yung lupa. No? <laughs> Tapat acquired na yun. As soon as nag-groundbreaking yeah. nag ka dyan, sikaw na dapat mayari ng lupa ka nun. Yeah, hindi yung lupa. Oh, okay. Bok, okay. buko na tayo. At uh, meron tayong uh, report coming from Cebu. In Cebu City, our relations soaring between allies Mike Rama and Raymond Alvin Garcia. Let's ask one news desk and the free monitor, Dale Israel. Dale, anong balita sa Cebu? Yes, may nga hapon. Kaninyang tanan din ha, Patrick, Ed, Ronald, and Ami. You know, there, there is something that is reflective of the current politics here in Cebu City. I would say that it would be how the celebrations of the Independence Day was made. Because for the first time, there are two major events on that day. The first one was the event led by acting Mayor Raymond Garcia, and the other one by suspended Mayor Michael Rama, which could be described also as a show of support for him. Garcia's event in the morning was uh, purely focused on the Independence Day celebration, which included a civic military parade, replaying, and commemorative program. In attendance were some of the Cebu City councillors who are allies of the acting mayor. During the night, Rama also held his Team Baroque Independence Day Convergence, which was attended by his supporters, relatives, and some of his appointed officials and two councillors. When Rama was asked about the absence of other officials, including acting Mayor Raymond Garcia, Rama replied, I wish nga aduna pa sila kagawasan, which means uh, kagawasan, which in English is independence, or in Tagalog is kasarinlan. Because Rama believed that there is someone behind the case against him and who wanted him out in the office, and he would not say who it was, but uh, he said there will be a proper time for that to be known in public, especially when the time comes that he is back in office. Rama was obviously urged at the policy decisions uh, made by Garcia after his assumption as acting mayor. And Rama described it as nisimang or a sudden change of direction. For example, Garcia met the MCWD Board of Directors, Cebu Port Authority officials, and of course, Governor Gwen Garcia, uh, Raymond met days after he assumed as mayor of Cebu City. Back to you guys. Uh Diba, Dale, nung nag-assume si Vice Mayor uh, Garcia, ay nagsimula na talaga immediately yung dynamics. Diba, nakuha ni uh, Alvin Garcia yung majority ng mga konsihal na loyal kay Mike Rama at saka sinimulan nilang investigahan yung mga previous projects ni Mike Rama. Diba, yun yung nangyari. Kaya itong, itong nangyayari ngayon ay isang natural consequence na Nung, uh, nung mga pangyayari na yon immediately pag-assume ni, ni Alvin Garcia ng mayorship. At mukhang ang direction yes, ni Alvin Garcia ay tumakbong mayor. Yes, uh, after Raymond assumed, there are a lot of uh, cancellation of some activities. Hmm. Rama prepared, especially like Independence Day, which uh, the budget was last from 11 million to only 6 million. And this was prepared by Rama. The budget of the Palarong Pampansa prepared during Rama's administration was also slashed from 405 million to only 262 million. Some purchases were cancelled, including the purchase of 20 million worth of portalet rentals and uh, just improved 
and Garcia just wanted to improve the existing comfort rooms of the schools. Rama okay. was asked if Garcia was still his uh, running mate. He answered, if you're asking me now, now there will be a time for that. Okay, he, that's Dale. not answer anymore. It's no comment. Yeah, Dale, I, I guess my question is, uh, how close is Governor Gwen Garcia, who is feuding with Mayor Mike Rama, how close is the governor with uh, uh, Vice Mayor Alvin Garcia? Favorite niece. Yeah, Vice. <laughs> <laughs> well, well um, days after, days after uh, assuming as mayor of Cebu City, um, Raymond Alvin Garcia was is immediately at the, the Cebu capital, and pictures show that they are in embrace. They're okay. embracing each other after that, uh, after he became acting mayor. So blood runs, ano, is thicker than yeah. politics saka, <laughs> in this case. No? Saka kahit vice mayor siya ni Rama, very close pa, pa rin talaga siya kay governor. Alam ko, pabori, isa sa mga paboritong nis, nis siya ni, kumane, ni, di ba, di ba, Dale? One of you. No? Yes, one of the favorite Not nephews you. of okay. Governor Gwen Garcia. Okay, okay. <laughs> parang, parang Dale, yung, yung Independence Day event, Dale, kaninong event yung mas maraming participant? <laughs> We could not teach yet as to which which event has many uh, supporters oh. because um, mm. it's an official activity. Yung kay uh, Raymond Garcia, it's, it's, uh, the yes. city hall employees are su supposed to be there. Uh, there was a civic mm. military parade, but this one from uh, Michael Rama were uh, clearly his supporters and appointed officials and uh, <clears throat> uh, some some of the barangay captains aligned with uh, Team Baroque Rama. Okay. So, marami pa rin. Marami nag-attend kay Mayor Rama. Yes, uh, the, the Plaza Subbo, which uh, where, where the the Magellan Cross is, is uh, mm. full, full of, of his supporters. Mm. 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 Dil, okay. med, med, medyo may tumulong na sa akin kanina numero. Sabi, parang sinabi kang 12 million ng portalet rentals. Uh, ano, isang buong taon yun. <laughs> Yeah, the, the portalet rental was supposed to be part of the Palarupa Mansa expenses, which are 20 million. That 20, was uh, about 20. 20 million worth of rentals. How about being in And this was canceled by. <laughs> but this is for one event, right? Uh, this is for one event. It's not for the whole year. Uh, 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 sorry, I'm just curious. I don't know how much portalets are rented out for, yeah, but you know. Yeah. Uh, it, <laughs> yeah. I was just curious about it. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> I am not a uh, portalet engineer. So. Uh, layman ka sa portalet. Okay, marami Kumusta sa... Kumusta na yung ano dyan, Dale? Yung political realignments. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin pa din pagalis dun sa party ni pres former President Duterte. Nag-aalisan pa rin ba? Tuloy-tuloy, ubus na yung halis. But what we know so far is that uh, mayor of, uh, the mayor of Mandawe is out of PDP. Mm -hmm. The mayor of Lapu-Lapu mm -hmm. City is also out of PDP. And of course, Governor Gwen Garcia, who was the first yes. to bolt out of uh, PDP. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Dale Israel, maraming salamat. Maraming salamat, Dale. Thank you, Dale. Maraming salamat. Okay, that was Dale Israel, uh, One News Cebu News Desk, and also an editor of the Freeman. I want to tell you mga nag-report sa ating mga reporter, no? Uh, tito at tita na lang kasi apat na pangalan, maakahaba ng bangay. <laughs> okay, eh, diba? no? Nahihirapan ko yung sila. Hindi sa isa eh. Diba? Pero okay na sa akin yung... Mga tito at tita. Yung, uh, one, yung isang spokesperson ang tawag sa akin, Kuya. Kuya. <laughs> Sino yun? Di ko ata maalala yun. <laughs> sa, kung yata yun? Sa PAOK? No, si ano si Gilbert si Yusek. Oh, Yusek, Gilbert Guzman, Gilbert. Yeah. Inagrade sa Porak. Yeah, yeah. Oh, kung dapat mo promotion. Kuya Ronald, si Gilbert Cruz nga pala I now my memory is fresh. He used to be the chief of police of Makati. Mm, ah, oh, oh. familiar ang pangalan. Yes. Oh. Oh, May bago na tayong NBA director. Yes, yeah. si Jimmy Santiago. Yes. Oh, the legendary. Oh, yung, yung, sa ano, yung sa SWAT. Uh, yes, sa siya. Oh, oh. Si Jimmy Magaling. Santiago. Shot shooter. Oh. Blast from Nakam the past. Nakam na-hover ko siya nun. Matagal, matagal uh, ko na siyang kilala sa, sa Manila Police. Um, SWAT. Kasi nakinover pa ni Amien at saka ni Ed. Yes. Nung nasa WPD sila. Yes, sure. Magaling, magaling talaga siya sa SWAT. Patay talaga, Amin. And it's embracing, no? Napunta siya sa, ano, naging prosecutor, naging judge. Naging judge. Napunta pa sa movies yung, ano, niya, yung buhay niya. Right. 
Naging, oh, naging pelikula. And then, naging pelikula. Mo, ah. NBI na siya. I asked him about it no Wednesday eh. Sabi niya, ang magiging priority daw niya, cybercrime. Saka ano, saka yung ano, yung, yung pagpabilis ng ano, ng paglabas ng mga NBI clearance. Ayan, yan ang mga priority niya initially. An- an- ano to, Ami, eh, no? Blast hmm. from the past and a legend. Of, of of his time, I think our time when we were police yes. reporters, uh, oh, especially because. Oh, magaling talaga siyang bumaral. Sa he was one of the best. Oh, at saka ano to, Ami, Talaga these were the siya. days when they when when Manila police was still carried the title Manila's, Manila's finest. finest, right? Yes, Ate Manila's Maiba. finest. Saka intelligence so officer yan. So ngayon, ano na? Nagumpisa siya intelligence officer later <laughs> SWAT. <laughs> Although even before, kasi I was wondering, why is it Manila's finest? Aren't they Manila's only police? <laughs> <laughs> I think panong ng Amerikano yun eh, yung galing yung Manila's Finest. Uh, yes. Tradition. May ganun din sa oh. US eh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. May ganun din. Doon ang oh. galing yun eh. Uh. Saka dati Western Police District pa yan. Pero, Western I mean, Police District yun, nung uh, Manila's Finest. Ngayon, Manila Police District. Uh, I mean, magiging priority yes. yun kaya ni bagong NBI Director si Kibuloy at si Bantag. Uh, mm. pag, pag, ano, pag inutusan siguro ni Justice Secretary uh-huh. kasi. Mm, Siyempre, ano yan, eh, medyo malayo-layo yeah. yan. Sinuspindi na nga ngayon nung ano, ng police. Kasi naging police operation, di ba? Kung, kung court siya, nang mag-serve, na nun, eh, kung, kung mag-i-investiga sila, ewan ko kung pwedeng maghanap ang NBI ng NBI yung, NBI yung unang Ay, pumunta eh. No, that's, ano, that's PNP yun. Hindi, yung pumunta dun sa kanya, yung uh, resort, yung sa bundok. NBI yung pumunta rin ulit. Ah, sa taas. Oh, sa pwede taas. silang mag-request. Oh. Oh. Pwede mag-request. Pero normally, hmm. police yan eh. Kapag may warrant ka na, police na magsaserve niyan. Na, na ako natin, naging guest natin yung NBI na pumunta eh. Sabi niya, pinuntahan yung office hmm. at saka yung bahay. Right. Yes. Eh, bakit naman magtatago si Kibuloy sa office at sa bahay? Hindi ka nagtatago. Diba? Yun, yung, <laughs> yun, yung, yun yung huli niyang tataguan. <laughs> Hindi nagtatago. Okay. He is not in hiding. Oo oh, nga eh. Hindi kasi siya fugitive yes. eh. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hindi, <laughs> yung, yung, kung ano yung in-apply eh. Kung ano yung in-apply, doon pupunta yung kung sino man yung mag-serve. Yeah. Kapag inutos ni Crispin Remulia, NBI, pupunta NBI doon. Uh, okay. So, pwede rin. Hmm. Yan. Okay. Huwag na tayo tumawa. Mas presyo na naman. Baka mabalata na naman tayo. Nakangiti na naman tayo eh. Okay. Hey, goodbye naman tayo. No, no. Mababa pa. Mababa din sa sabi niya. Eh, ewan, ewan ko kung paano mapapa-exceed yung NBI clearance. Sure, maganda 'yon. Oh, di ba? Hmm. Oh, and there was a time it was already online. Yes. But anyway, sige sige. Let's move on. Ang hirap hirap pa, I tried kasi pag kukuha ka raw ng pag kukuha ka ng barrel, di ba? Uh, you need an NBI clearance eh. Yes. NBI clearance ang bilis-bilis NBI just ko napakahirap. Yes. Alam mo sa mabilis, Ami? Sa head office. At least that's where I got mine. If you try any of the malls, kasi have satellite offices, dun mahaba ang waiting list. Mm. But surprisingly, yung main oh. office ang maha, wala masyadong waiting list. But anyway, that's another story. For now, uh, <laughs> thank you for joining the story ko today. Ami Pamintuan, editor-in-chief of the, Fili- of the Philippine Star. Sorry. And Ronald Diamas, our resident political pundit. Happy, happy weekend. weekend. Yeah, happy okay. weekend. Just oh. again on Monday at 4 happy p.m. Weekend. for the story ko. I'm Adling Gao. I'm Patrick Pais. We are One News, all sides, all the time. This is the Story Conference Group or the Story Conference Group.